In this class we will manipulate the menus and toolbars, exploring the SOLIDWORKS interface. Shall we get started? With a new part file open, note that at the top of the screen we have menus and some access icons. Below we have toolbars, which can be toggled by clicking on the tabs. This region is called Command Manager. The command manager can be customized, for example, leaving only the toolbars that will be used active. To do this, we click with the right mouse button on one of the tabs and see that a list of toolbars is displayed. The marked bars are already active, and to turn them off, just click on them. To activate, just click on the desired bar, note. If the desired bar is not in the list, click Customize Command Manager. See that a window is displayed and several tabs are shown in the Command Manager. To add a toolbar, simply right click on any tab shown, and in Add tab choose the desired bar. Through the open window we can configure the command manager view. We click on use large buttons with text and see that the display of commands has changed. Larger icons with their name are now shown. Disabling this option and clicking on large icons, only icons are shown in larger size. By clicking on the checklist of the bars shown in the list, each time we open a part file, these bars will be displayed automatically. Through the Commands tab, we can add or remove commands from the bars. In the Menus tab, it is possible to customize the function's access through the menus. In the Keyboard tab, we can see the default shortcuts for SOLIDWORKS commands or functions and we can also add or change shortcuts, let's see. In Category we select Insert and for the command Extrude we will set the letter E a shortcut. However, a message tells us that the letter E is already set as a shortcut to another function. We click No and enter the letter D. See, this shortcut can be used. We have confirmed by clicking OK. Next, we type the letter D of the keyboard and the command extrude is activated. To add any toolbar, simply right click on the command manager, choose the desired bar and position it. On the left side of the software screen we have a division with some tabs. In the Feature Manager, all features of part modeling, assembly or detailing are stored. We can also access the standard plans and the origin. The Property Manager tab is automatically activated when accessing any command. Configuration Manager allows you to create settings and will be studied later. The DimExpert Manager allows you to add tolerances to the models automatically, and the Display Manager allows you to assign appearances. By clicking on the icon shown, we can hide this division by increasing the space of the modeling area. In the central part, we have the graphic area, or modeling area where we create the templates. See that at the top of this area we have quick access to some functions. The task pane is located on the right side and the lower left corner is the reference triad, which indicates the view and axis used.
Below we can switch to the motion study environment, and in the last area of the screen we have the status bar, which indicates the version of SOLIDWORKS that is being used. As well as the status of the operations that are being performed in the graphical area. We have seen in this class the main features of the SOLIDWORKS interface and how to manipulate menus and toolbars, indispensable for the course sequence.